Okay, everyone, you are looking at that lovely face of Miss Colleen Askew, who is the chairman of the 10th Annual Berwick Lighthouse Festival. This weekend, believe it or not, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, packed with all sorts of events and great entertainment. So I'm going to turn the mic over to her and just let her start talking about this incredible, incredible event that's free for the whole family. Hi everybody. Um, so we're starting Friday with the ribbon cutting at 430, which is normally under the bridge where the big mural is. Um, so we'll start with that and then the vendors will open from at five o'clock. The carnival is going to open. The carnival is $30 each day. Um, and Friday's schedule for the music is Spank the Monkey starting at 630 to 830 and then Tommy G and Stormy Weather 9 to 11. And then Saturday, we, um, we have the Berwick Heritage Museum, which opens at 10 and, and closes at 3. The gumbo cook-off starts at 11. I'm pretty sure we have eight teams this year, which is amazing. And that benefits St. Mary Council on aging. Um, so that's a fun little thing to, to come hang out. And it's very... I don't know it's just fun just to come test everybody's food the vendors open at 10 the carnival opens at 12 um then we have a cornhole tournament which is new this year that's that's also going to be along along the river so if you want to join in on that that starts at one o'clock to three o'clock and then in the meantime swampland revival starts at 1 30 to 3 30 and then we have nick l beer at four to six i'm trying to like give you like the whole schedule of the day and then in between there let's see foray tradition is 6 30 to 8 30 and then we um, pause a little bit for the fireworks at nine which is always fun and then we have jamie bajon closing the bands from 9 30 to 11 30 saturday Sunday we start off with mass on the riverfront at 8 a.m. which is really nice if you haven't done that come out it's beautiful um, the vendors open at 9 they close at 3 the carnival opens at noon and then we're having a street parade this year which is something totally new um, we normally do a golf cart parade and ATV parade but we decided to do a full parade this year so if you want to decorate your ATVs or your golf carts or bring a float or whatever we even have um, Berwick High School coming and I think Berwick Junior High also their bands coming so come join in and if you're not joining in then make sure you check out on our Facebook page where we have the whole map of of the parade so that's gonna be fun um, uh, Caleb Olivier starts on Sunday at 2 o'clock and ends at 4 and Chubby Carrier and the Bayou Swamp Band start at 4.30 and end at 6.30. We also have a shrimp boil sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce and we have a little misprint on here. It says 2 o'clock but it's actually noon. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so that... that um, That'll be the, the last like event is their shrimp boil and the last, it ends at 6.30. So it's gonna be a full weekend, we're excited. Um, let's talk about how many rides are gonna be out here. Well, I'm not really sure yet because we have the bridge construction still going on and it, it kind of limits us a little bit, but they're gonna work with us. We'll actually have some along the riverfront as usual but also there'll be some things on first street yeah we'll close that down okay and then the, uh the parade can, can may, we go over the route a little bit i'm gonna have to look it up uh, that's okay more. that's all right <laughs> and folks you just heard her the rides may be on the riverfront incredible pictures so i mean the weather's going to be beautiful you've got to come out you can take great pictures of your kids riding the rides which is something you don't get to do with the shrimp festival because all of the rides are, are on the street they're not uh on the river so so that gives uh gives you a, a neat neat picture and if you're watching this and you're in the homa area or new iberia area or you're out of town and going to be 
coming to Louisiana or in the New Orleans area, make the drive over to Berwick. It's about an hour and uh, maybe about 15 to 30 minutes from that area. And uh, you'll be able to uh, see this incredible festival and hear lots of great music. So now I'm going to give you the mic back since I've been hogging it. And you can tell us about the parade route. Parade route. Okay, so the parade route starts on Utah. And then we go to First Street. And then all the way down, I'm trying to read the map. Is there going to be a Grand Marshal? Yes. He's right there. That's going to be the mayor. Um, so basically, it'll go down 4th Street, Ehrlich, all the way down Gilmore. Uh, I think I may be going backwards. I'm bad at this. And I'll put you on the spot. You did put me on the spot. And this is a JP, um, JP Henry does all this. So if you need the map, it's on Facebook. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that. But I did want to get back to the parade because we, um, this year, in order to join the parade, all you have to do is bring one free, like a, an unwrapped Christmas gift to Town Hall. That's all we ask, and that'll go to Toys for Tots. Um, so that's your registration. Okay. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're excited about that. What else do we have? So there's a lot going on. The food, we have a lot of food vendors. So they will be in the food truck court as well as along the river. There's, let's see, we have Kale Cajun Cooking. We have Popping Guys, Brain Free Snow World, Asian Cajun Trailer, DJ's Barbecue, The Bayou Lemon, Code 4 Catering, VFW patterson bayou ballers blended bean ellie's ice cream fraternal order of police brooks snow world mrs tang's geos vivi's k dubs den 10 just family the boy scouts berwick high school bake sale and kiwanas also all right and you said there are going to be a lot of vendors here as well let, let, can we talk about them a little bit? As soon as I can find them. All right. <laughs> and y'all, I'm going to show you while she's searching. That's the neat flyer that they've got on Facebook. Of course, it's on our Facebook page as well. And I'll give you a good detail of everything that's happening. So the craft vendors are AW Vinyl, Bayou Tie, Dye. The Borough Library is coming out. And you can sign up your children to get a library card. Celeste's Wreaths. The Coast Guard's going to come with a big boat. Collective Lanyap, Dip and Dabble Face Painting, G&T Creations, Ginger Snap Creations. Henry Bolden comes out with his Cracklins. It's a Southern Thing. KC Creations, Keaton Bella with Oyster Religion. Landry's Custom Woodworks. Linda Keller has Wreaths, etc. Louisiana Etched. Paints by Savage Ross, Richards Woodworking, Roots and Ribbons will be here, Saltwater Sportsman Outfitters, Scentsy, Sean's Blossoming Boutique, Stellar 3D Printing, Twisted Cajun Design, Whimsical Wonders and Creations, and Madame C is Miss Colette Duga. I hope I didn't forget anybody. If I forgot anybody that's cooking or crafts, please let me know. There you hear it. All sorts of vendors, incredible food, and of course, great entertainment. So uh, we thank you very much for uh, taking some time out. And do you have any parting words? Just come out and be ready to have a good time. We're praying the weather's good. Um, just be ready to have fun. 